Welcome to the Muse Argonne Offensive. This battle was was fought by the, the US, France, the German Empire, and Austria Hungary, although mostly the Germans. It took about 28,000 German lives and about 26,000 American lives, and was the bloodiest battle in all of American history, involving 1.2 million American troops and about 4,000. 400,000, excuse me, 400,000 Germans. Now, with the weapons. Um, the weapon you see me using here is the uh, M1903 Springfield rifle. Shot a 30-06 round and was reloaded by a stripper clip. That's, those are the basics. Then that, that handgun right there, the M1911, shooting a 45 caliber round, which gave it the special name, the Man Stopper. Those were two standard issue weapons for the United States during the time. The Battle of the Argonne started on September 26, 1918 to November 11, 1918, which is the last day of the war and the day that the Germans surrendered to, to, to the United States of America. On October 3rd, the 77th Division was surrounded by the Germans, later known as the Lost Battalion, but on October 8th, Lost Battalion survivors walk out, and Sergeant York of the 82nd Division wipes out a nest of 35 German machine guns and captures 132 German soldiers as part of release operation. General Pershing of the U.S. Army orders the French Corps with American divisions to attack along the east bank of the Meuse River. On October 21st, Stellung, the third German defensive position, is broken by the U.S. Army. From October 17 to the 31st, the American army would attack the west and the east bank of the Meuse. On the 27th of October, French 4th Army to the west of the U.S. 1st Army catches up to the American front line. This is made possible by the success of two U.S. divisions, the 2nd and 36th, successfully capturing Balkmont Ridge in the Champagne and pers pursuing the enemy at the River N. On November 1st, in the third phase of the war, the reorganized 1st Army, now under the command of General Hunter Legit, begins the final pursuit to, to Sedan. The 2nd Division marches right through the enemy positions and advances another 5 miles. On November 5th, leading U.S. units reach the hills overlooking Sedan. The 1st Army boundary is ordered to be shipped to the east to allow French 4th Army to honor of capturing Sedan's site of a defeat in 1870 and redirect the 1st U.S. Army route to advance. Finally, on the last day of the war, the Germans finally surrender on November 11th at about 6 in the morning. And that ended the war. Hope you liked the video.